What up, YouTube world? This is your boy J Flow Pro. I'm coming at you live from J Flow TV. Um, just wanted to shoot this video, this second video um, on my YouTube channel. Just wanted to uh, debut a track that I was working on because um, I feel very excited about it. Um, some of you might like it, some of you might not, but I'm a type of person that's like, hey, to each his own. So what? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it, it all that matters is, you know, how I feel about it. Because that's what makes music so special is how you feel about what you're making. So, you know, if you feel feel good about what you're making and then, you know, run with it, you know. Don't 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 let others stop you from making what you wanna make, you know. Um, other than that, let's get right to it. Uh I'm up here in FL Studios. You know, I've been using FL Studio for the past like five, six, maybe six years, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I just really grew with that. You know, I, I, I have uh, Pro Tools and I have um, Logic, uh, Reason, Cakewalk, and I got all of them, but I, they still in my um, Major out here. You know, I'm I'm up in the hotel in North Carolina, and I bring everything with me. You know, every time I come out here, you know, doing business or whatever. And uh, excuse me, but uh, yeah. Uh, this one right here, as you see at the top. Um, I call it uh, call it Coraline. Uh, the reason why I call it Coraline because obviously if you if you don't know who Coraline is it's like she's a little girl that was in that movie and stuff with the little blue hair uh, got the two different mamas went on the other side of this little door and discovered an alternate reality which turned out to be that lady that looked like her mama was a, was a witch and the movie so twisted and tore up I watch it with my daughter all the time you know and it's like and it's weird because you know my daughter you know she watches it and she watch all kinds of creepy sort of things you know and she only three you know and she still sits up and watch it you know and she don't never get scared she watch it by herself but anyway besides the point um i just used uh the track that was kind of like controversial or a lot of times because nobody could understand what they were saying in it you know which actually to my understanding after researching it because that's what I do when I actually make track especially if I sample a track I always research it and try to understand what the track is about so I can actually get a better idea of what I'm going to sample and how I'm going to sample it you know and um, basically from my understanding after reading about it it's basically about nothing you know basically about nothing I mean feel free to comment you know what I'm saying down at the bottom, and, and if you if you if you know different than me, but what I've what I've researched about the song, it's about nothing. I know that it is like a mix between something about uh, like French and the Hungarian. They had the French uh, children's choir and the French uh, and the Hungarian children's choir, and they meshed them together, and they uh, formulated some type of like language between the two, and you know. Um, um, formulated that song which is actually kind of like a a real I, I think personally is really cool because I'm always like like trying to trying to think outside of the box when I come like to make beats but I know you anticipating it and everything so I'm gonna go ahead and just like you know play it real quick um, before I actually debut a lot of the things that I did here you go <laughs>
that's basically it right there. That was the track. Um, just real quick. Um, I noticed I'm like almost at like eight minutes and seventeen seconds now. Um, basically, uh, the main thing I guess I can go over is because every time you're dealing with samples, for some odd reason, everybody wants to know how you did your samples and everything. Um, this beat for me, because you know, first of all, I want to just go ahead and get this out of the, get this into the airways and stuff like that. You know, I'm I'm not coming off as like a know it all or anything like that. Um, and there's still a lot of things that I have to learn. You know, granted, I've I've been doing this for about like five years or so. You know, there's still a lot of things I haven't learned. Like basically, like the last like four and a half, maybe like four or so. You know, I just been trying to like you know do the same thing pretty much everybody else is doing you know um just you know learning and, and and creating and learning and creating and stuff like that you know but i never really you know got the nerve up to actually debut my stuff you know out to the masses until um you know recently um and i'll tell you more about why um in a later video um but uh as far as like these uh chops and stuff, this is the first part that I use. And uh it's like basically I just took uh just certain parts from the track. I don't have it up here no more. Um it's gonna take me a minute to find it, so I'm not gonna pull it up, but I went and I tried to find it everywhere online. It's like if you really want it and stuff like that, I ain't holding nothing back. You know, I'm the type of person that, you know, I wanna you know, it's like just like the next man. If they don't know anything, you know, I want to share what I know with everybody. You know, and I mean that's just how I am. You know, and I'm, I I I don't like the whole idea of like a lot of producers or beat makers or you know whoever it is, regardless of what you do. You know, like to keep things secret. You know, um, I mean certain things. You know, you want to you want to keep to yourself. You know, signatures and whatever like that. You know, or things or that you might be doing that you might want to hold on to. You know. But like when it comes to like as far as like creating, uh, like instructing or anything like that, um, yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm put it out there, yeah, I'm gonna put it out there because you know we all need to come together and like bring the whole community of like, you know, beat making and production, you know, back to the way it used to be back in the day, you know, is like one whole um, unity and stuff, and everybody start helping each other instead of trying to like you know shut people out, you know. Um, but yeah, uh, the second part is uh, this part right here. And I mean, you see the chops right there. I basically just like, you know, found the, found the point where, you know, everything was like, where, where it hits on the, on the one of the, of the, uh, um, metronome, you know what I'm saying? It's like. The metronome where it hits on the one and the and the and the and the two and the three, uh, the downbeats, you know, <clears throat> and I tried to catch those. You know, this this song was like kind of like you know, hard for me to do it and stuff like that. But I I ended up getting it though. Um, to the best of my ability, you know. I, I mean, I can still play around with it. It's not mixed down or anything like that already. You know, as you see right here, still got the levels all the way up and stuff. I actually started mixing it down a little bit, and I went and, you know, did, you know, my little test and stuff like that, you know, to try to make sure that everything was on the up and up. But it wasn't sounding quite the way I wanted it, the way I wanted it to sound, you know. Um, and... So I took everything out of it and I'm redoing it again. Um, chime in on that little aspect right there, you know. Never, never limit yourself to actually, you know, when you if if you if you're a beat maker, you know, because um, I know some of you might be artists, you know, that might that might run across this video. But uh, if you're a beat maker and stuff or a music producer, he's like never never uh, limit yourself to like just one mix down and then call it a day, you know always set yourself up to like mix it down once you know listen to it you know um resonate on it and then come back and then just like take everything and delete it out of there you know all of it just delete all of your effects and all of your all of the things that you did to it this track right here is nothing in it i forgot to use it but i don't want to use it now because the sound doesn't resonate with me um yeah just like 
you know, concentrate on like, you know, trying to make the best mix that you possibly can. And it's like, I'm still doing it to this day. I'm still, you know, trying to, you know, make it to where I got the right sound that I wanted the the way I wanted to sound because especially when you're dealing with sample tracks, you know, because sample beats, you know, they have, they, they come from actual songs that's already made, you know, so there's a lot of other instruments that's within what you're trying to sample, you know, unless you're actually trying to sample the acapella and it's just vocals, you know, so um, just like take heed to that, you know, just a little nugget right there for the mind. Um, other than that, let me see. Did I, did I miss the part out? Oh, this was the part when the verse part. Um, basically, I just took the beginning of the, of the song. Um, I wish I had. I wish I had the, uh, the the main part of the song that I kept up there so you can actually hear. Because I'm pretty sure um, there's probably a few people that watch this video um, that probably hasn't hasn't even seen the movie, let alone heard the song before. I forget the actual name of the song, but. Uh, a lot of places that I went and searched for it, for us, uh, it just said Coraline ending credit song, you know. Um, so I don't really know the actual actual name they call it. But uh, anyway, um, that's the beat and everything. I'm running short on time. Uh, once again, I'm JFlow Pro, aka well, JFlowPro.com. Um, subscribe to my channel. Um, one bonus about this, a uh, special bonus, you know, for those of you that peep out my video and they actually see this video, if you subscribe at the bottom, um, once I actually make this track and I mix it down, you can actually get um, a copy of it. All right, so stay tuned. I'm out.